All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So, man, we have got a ton of things going on, and I just had to take a break, sit back, and start doing some tabletop reviews. We've been slacking on that kind of stuff lately. Uh, but what are we going to be looking at today? This is the Armaspec uh, Stealth Recoil Spring. This was uh, sent to the channel by the guys over there at Palmetto State Armory. And what does this do? This basically takes the place of your regular uh, buffer spring and tube i.e. one of these things with a spring. So in any case, what we want to do is we're going to install it in Econ 1. You guys might remember this guy right here. This was the one that really surprised a lot of people with its accuracy. Uh, not going to do a range review on this, but what we can do is we can do a test. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do it like this. That is the sound that it makes going back and forward. Now, if you want to hear, basically you can simulate the sound by doing this, of being fired, I guess. You can hear that spring, you can hear that buffer. So what we're gonna do is, well, let's talk about the details of this guy first and we'll put it in there and then we'll do a release and see how silent it is. Now, let's talk about a few things. This Arma spec is very similar to, well, the JP Silent Capture Spring. This is going to go into the Elite build. This guy right here may end up going into the, uh, what I call the budget build. I'll tell you what, look at that. Basically what it is, you've got a spring, you have a weight right here, and then you have a drive rod. And that actually will go, let me show you what we're looking at here. What in the world did I do? Basically what happens, you have your bolt carrier group, you have your buffer, and when you fire the firearm, the gases go through and it kicks that BCG back. So as you can see, what happens is, is that guide rod goes up inside of the BCG and that's how the thing operates. But the, 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 guy, the, the guise of it is, is that you're supposed to get rid of that spring no noise, uh, that boing, uh, as well as making it a little bit quieter. But in any case, the difference between, say, the JP Sonic Catcher Spring, where you have different springs that you can purchase, you can go ahead and you can specify what weight you want. You can go all the way to a uh, big bore, uh, 308. You have the 5.5 or 5.6 ounce equivalent, the 5.3 equivalent, the 4.7 equivalent, and 3.8. This one right here is the 3.3 equivalent, set up pretty much for a carbine, okay, which this is. Okay, so uh, one of the things that we wanna do is, let's weigh this guy, first of all. I don't know why we're doing it, but we're gonna weigh it out, see what happens. 6.3 ounces altogether, all right. So let's do this. We have already pulled and seeing how much noise that thing will make. And there, there it is. I mean, who wants a long and floppy and limp spring when you can have a very stiff guide rod that just, you know, does what it's supposed to do. Now, let me just point out real quickly. I know it's getting kind of silly. But um, in most cases, we would go ahead and remove the uh, detent spring right here, uh, the detent pin out, because you don't need it. Um, and basically, you, but if you don't have that, you can just press it down in there like that, okay? And we will insert it just like that. And you may need a screwdriver to kind of push that detent spring down. So as you can see right there, there is pressure on it just like there normally would be. And all we're gonna do is install this guy right here. Now, I, I use the JP Sonic Capture Spring on a couple competition rifles, and they work great. But listen to this. Does it make it any more silent? Uh, not really. Hold on one second. Here we go. Now, you didn't hear that boing, which if you're shooting some real high speed stuff. Here, hold on. Let me do this. I'm going to, because we're getting a lot of noise on that handguard. Here we go. Okay, so now you can see the difference. 
Uh, as a matter of performance, well, that all has to do with the weight of the spring, how much you've got if you've got an adjustable gas block. But listen to this. That's the difference. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, compare the two. Stand by. So what we'll do is I'm going to put this thing up right beside the microphone. And it's actually sitting about uh, four or five inches away. But what we're listening for is that noise. Here we go. Let's do it one more time. Okay, now let's put the regular old buffer and spring back in this guy. Stand by. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the regular spring and the buffer in there. Here we go. One more time. All right, so what'd you guys think about that? Would I recommend it? Uh, yeah. What I can't wait to do is get it out there and see if it does indeed improve performance, cycle time, which would be hard to tell, but you're not going to end up with it. Boing. So anyway, guys, that's it. This is the Arma spec. Uh, $75.99, I believe it is. And uh, anyway, I'll put the link, kb 32 tack.com if you guys are doing the shopping through that i greatly appreciate it helps the channel out and then uh, later on we'll be putting this in the uh elite build i will probably turn around and put this in the budget build because we're trying to make them as close as we can and see how far away we can do anyway with that being said let's go to boy 32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom is not free and this, ladies and gentlemen, is made in the USA. I'm digging it. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out.